three, two. The engine might be gone in it, that's why I was putting with no keys. I've just got to get on with it. Bloody forgot to take this plastic bracket off there. <laughs> I think I need a bit more practice. So I'm here today with um, access denied locksmiths and I've had two keys cut um, and it's the first time now since we've, since we've got we're gonna start it over. So we might uh, start it over and it might not start or the engine might be gone in it, that's why I was putting with no keys. But we're gonna start it up now. Let's see if she starts or doesn't start. Three, two. Doesn't start. So, hmm. it could be that um, knock sensor on him, Dad. No, they ain't got one, they? Because normally it throw the airbag light on. Hmm. Well, maybe this is why I was putting with no keys. She has a warning light going. Uh no. Oh yes, yeah, fuel cut off, see handbook. Yeah, dad, yeah it is. Fuel cut off, see handbook. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the put do you know you know this do you know you know the sequence, yeah? yeah. So I've got it here. Okay. So on these they've got a fuel cut off, so obviously when they've been in an accident, they'll um cut the fuel to it to stop obviously the engine from running. What I did notice is the, the indicator he has a warning light didn't work. Yeah, that's what I was. Right, let me go on the handbook. Have a look in here. Well, I love looking in the handbook and I'll cut back when we've, uh, I think we've done the sequence. Turn the ignition key to stop and then turn it on. Now go right. Now go left. Turn the ignition key to stop and then turn it on. So Dad's just gone through the fuel cutoff system now, and we're going to see whether it starts. It starts. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know she runs. I am going to be taking off the wing and the door. Obviously, the wheel arch needs to come off. Wheel needs to come off. But we're going to see what damage is to that A pillar that my dad said about. Because if you look from an angle, that wing is in quite a bit actually. But I'm hoping, hoping it's just crumpled that way and it's not actually affected the A-pillar, but if it has, then it has. So I've managed to get the wing and the door off after struggling a bit because the uh, bolts on the uh, wheel locks were rusted but I can't actually see any damage to that A-pillar. I mean you guys might have better eyes than me, you might be able to spot something, you might be missing something obvious but I can't actually see much damage to that. Same for the inner wing, no damage. And that bracket might be slightly bent which is expected. And that lug snapped off the head like there but I'm sure I'll be able to get Dad's plastic rod that up. But looking at it, it does look alright obviously you've got a bit of damage to the seal along there. I'm going to hang the door on it now.
so it's the end of the second day well sort of i've i've not even really spent a full day on it today i've probably spent about half a day on it so i've got the wing off got the door off obviously i haven't actually put the wing on properly at all i've just put some bolts on it they're all really finger tight so it obviously all needs shaping up the bracket up here that one there that the uh, wing bolts to i don't know if you can see that if the light's good but if you can then that little bracket there where i've got my finger needs bending back into position obviously it's not all not going to line up properly because it seals out so that's all we can really do at the moment until it goes to the workshop but second day well first day full day on it it's all right so i have prepped the back of the door and i have prepped the back of that wing and i've also prepped the cover for the ring mirror now i'm going to base coat this up not lacquer it because it doesn't have lacquer on it and then i'm going to base lacquer the wing mirror and then i'm going to base and lacquer the door now this is my first time well it's not my first time it's, it's about probably my fourth or fifth time paint, painting on my own so i am going to make some mistakes so if there's any painters out there that are watching then please throw in whereabouts you think i could go better yeah there's not really much more to say i've just got to get on with it and hope that it comes out right i've full panel wiped it so all the rubbish and dust should be off it i mean to be fair in here needs a good go through and needs a good clean up to be fair but nonetheless i'm going to get painting So you guys would have seen me put on the base coat. I've probably got a mark around my face here from the mask, but I think it's all right. Um, I bloody forgot to take this plastic bracket off there. <sighs> but that's all based up now. That's not going to be lacquered. But I think that's all right. There shouldn't really be too much paint on that anyway. And the door looks all right. But I'm just looking around it now, just making sure I can't see through it.
So it's all painted up. Let's go and have a look around it. I mean, it looks quite wet. I mean, luckily, luckily enough for me, the weather's really hot today. So it gives me a bit more time and I can put a bit more lacquer on without it running. Well, it does look all right. Touch wood, touch wood, I think it looks all right. I mean, Dad might come in the morning and kick me and go, you should have done this, you should have done that. Which, when he look, watches his tape back, he probably will. But we've got that just resting on there. It's nice and wet, covered all of it. A lot of people have actually been asking me recently whereabouts I get my paint supplies from, and it's a company called A&R Davies. Now, my dad's been using this company for, it's gotta be over 30 years. I'm pretty sure it's over 30 years. So I'll leave a link to their website in the description and I'll also leave their contact number. So if you guys want any paint supplies, then go to them. So I've just showed a video of me painting to dad. <laughs> I think I need a bit more practice. So it's now Tuesday. Um, I thought I'd done a pretty decent job on Friday, but turns out I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> what have I uh, messed up on? Uh, basically, you have, you have lacquered it. Yeah. But you obviously wasn't careful for where you was going and you, you've missed a load of it. You've missed all in here. You've missed all the lacquer on there. And some yeah. of the paint you could just slightly see through where you didn't put enough blue on. Right. The trouble is to lacquer to lacquer straight away or to, to, to base coat over the top of lacquer, it will pickle unless you don't put as much don't hardly put any fillers in it at all. Right, okay. Because it will react. So basically what you want to do now is just re go back over it and re lacquer it. You've got to be careful, it might pickle, because it's fresh lacquer. Well, okay, well... Looks Wind cover, right. mirror looks all right, though. <laughs> that looks all right, but um, what about the back of the wing? I said yesterday I think I put a bit too much paint on it. What do you, what do you think? Not enough. Not enough paint? Not enough paint. Oh, I thought I'd put a bit too no, much on. I've put, I've put a bit more on, oh, right, but I okay. can see through it. And right. then you obviously didn't mask that up. No, I know. You painted that. So. I know, I realised that. As soon as I start painting, I realised that. I mean, really, I normally take, I'm, I'm rivet and I take them off, but. I know, I completely. Yeah. Well, I've cleaned all the paint off of it and redone it. Right, okay. I've done that, so. Well, so yeah. mistakes are fixed, and now I've just got to yeah, basically. You didn't paint the back of that. Oh, right, okay. You didn't paint the back of that, so. Oh, right, yeah, because it, it was the other way around. It was the other way around, and you've got to look at them. Yeah, that's alright. Yep, there you go, so. So I'm gonna restart, I'm gonna start by lacquering this again, and hopefully that'll be alright. <laughs> In the next episode we're going to show the dents being pulled out the seal being pulled out it being primed and painted so that's going to be the end of this video please 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 go and smash that subscribe button smash the like button and i'll see you all in the next one